installation on your schedule. Not even Amazon can do that. The big screen store. Good morning, I'm from Team 4 Meteorologist Brian Miller. We've got a lot of cloud cover on our walks. TC right now in Point South. Sunshine in our northern suburbs. We will also see increasing amounts of sunshine later today. Air temperatures that will be comfortable this afternoon, lower 80s and lower humidity values. Great weather for outdoor activities here later today. Turning a little bit hot tomorrow and a really hot on Tuesday with highs in the mid 90s. Next chance of seeing some rain comes in here on Tuesday night and Wednesday morning with a cold front. All right, Ryan, thank you very much. A reminder, you can get the latest news and weather anytime with our NBC Washington app. For now, back to Sunday Today with Willie Geist. Have a great day. To be seen and heard. Look at me. I can't. What do you mean you can't? Look at me! Sue, look at your hands. Jessica Alba as Susan Storm, a.k.a. the Invisible Woman, in the Fantastic Four, the 2005 Marvel movie that helped to make her a star. And it feels like you haven't seen as much of Alba on screen in the last decade or so. That's because she's been busy building a business. For 10 years now, the Honest Company Alba founded has been a pioneer in clean products for babies, for beauty, and for home. Skeptics wondered if the actor with a good idea but no experience could lead a successful business. Well, through the ups and downs of a startup, Alba took her company public last year, valued then at more than a billion dollars. Jessica and I got together for a Sunday sit-down at Honest Headquarters in Los Angeles. You're a thief. Cross her name for Jessica Alba has played leading roles since she was a teenager. Today, at 41, she still is taking charge here at Honest Company Headquarters in Playa Vista, California. So this is the room where it happens, huh? You know, a lot of thinking happens in here. Where she serves as Chief Creative Officer of the clean consumer goods brand she founded a decade ago. Is it so cool to you, 10 years later, to walk into this building and go, wow, look what we've created? It's wild. From an idea that some people might have thought was crazy. So many people. Yeah. Might have thought. So many people thought it was really nuts. The idea that baby beauty and other household products should be free from chemicals was inspired by Alba's own experience as a child suffering from severe asthma and allergies. And later, as a mother herself, Raising three children with husband Cash Warren. Do you want to see the lab? This is like one of the, I think, the things that make us really special because we have such a stringent quality and um, safety standard. It's also where I get to have fun and be creative. I get to play in here and like create colors and it's really cool. You know, when we started 10 years ago, Consumers, everyday people, didn't know that they could take their health into their own hands, that they could demand more from companies. They didn't know that, you know, there can be ethics and standards that they live by applied to businesses that they decide to spend their hard-earned money on. And that is something that I'm really proud of. Was it a hard decision, though, to walk away? At least temporarily, of course, you're still acting, but yeah, you're saying, this I is going to be my focus now. When I had my baby, she really shifted the context of my life and my priorities. And I really just thought about my life choices and purpose and legacy differently. You went public a year ago. Happy one year anniversary of that. Thank you. How amazing was that to stand at the NASDAQ that day? It's wild. It's very surreal. It's still surreal to think about that. And so few women ever even get a chance at, you know, being there and being in that space and in that environment. I want all women out there to know that there's plenty of room at this table and I'm saving a seat for you. And I think for me, it makes me feel, I guess, have even more conviction around just how necessary it is to make space for others. And just to make sure that that door that you pushed open never closes. As Alba pushes that door, Honest grew quickly, attracting attention and investors in a market dominated 
by giants like Johnson & Johnson and Procter & Gamble. But some analysts thought Honest's $1.4 billion IPO was inflated. Indeed, the company's stock has fallen since. And while the job of being a founder is not for the faint of hearts, Alba is digging in. There are people who are like, oh, she's a movie star. What does she know about this? How is she going to run a company? Yeah, a lot of that. Did it get to you at any point? Of course it does. I think a lot of the naysayers in life for me over time, maybe they, they, they drove me in a way, or it was almost like putting fuel on, on the fire. It gave me even more determination to make it happen. And also, like, when you come from people having zero expectations of who you could be, there's a fearlessness. You can only kind of go up from there, <laughs> you know? Alba has been overcoming the odds since childhood, when she suffered from serious illness and moved frequently to follow her father's career in the Air Force. I don't think most people fully appreciate what that was like for you. It was lonely. <laughs> it was very lonely and isolating. Yeah, I guess I never really felt connected to anyone my age. I am the one who happened to Daddy. And I'm the one concerned with your welfare. Alba, who started acting at 12, was finally felt at home on movie and TV sets. Come on, you're not in charge. At 19, she got a call from famed director James Cameron to star in his sci-fi series, Dark Angel. The roles and Alba's celebrity only got bigger. Nobody but me can keep a seat running. If someone didn't grow up in like a showbiz family, how did you handle the fame side of it? I think it's hard. I don't know if anyone could ever really be prepared for it, living in a fishbowl. I always had to like, when I had my kids, I didn't want them to carry the anxiety that comes with that. And so I just, I mean, I lied to them. And I told them that everybody gets followed by by strangers, really? and I said, just don't talk to them or look at them. And it wasn't until like my daughter was like in second grade that she realized that uh, she was like, Mom, why are you on the cover of a magazine? Kept out of bag. Yeah. You did say they concealed their honest hand sanitizer. I think they're embarrassed, Mom. I'm like, dude, like, come on, aren't you like, it's your cool. kid, it's yeah. cool. Like, and you should be your friends to use it too. <laughs> and they're like, no way, that's a word, whatever. I test a lot of products on them. <laughs> I don't test on, you don't test on, I don't know if you test on human beings, and they're usually related to me. So when you look out over the horizon yeah. for your company, what do you see? What's out there in the future? So many things. The big companies that we all grew up with, they've been around for a hundred plus years. So we have a lot of growing to do and learning and changing and challenging. And we're just always trying to push the envelope to do better. And that's why I'm hoping we stay inspired to do that. Our thanks to Jessica and her team for hosting us at the Honest Company headquarters in Playa Vista. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit Down podcast to hear the full interview with Jessica Alba. You can find that on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours. And when we return in two weeks, a new Sunday sit down with another star actor who has made a name for herself in the world of business, Academy Award winner Gwyneth Paltrow on that turn from Hollywood to Goop and much more. What a Paltra in two weeks on Sunday today. Let's turn now and get a quick check of your local Sunday weather. And good morning. I'm Storm Team 4 meteorologist Ryan Miller. If you're watching us and live north of D.C., you're seeing some sunshine. <coughs> That's where this camera's pointing right now. Blue sky across the area. <coughs> south of D.C. right now, we're dealing with cloud cover and temperatures that are rather mild. Looking over the next few hours, we're going to see those clouds decrease. We're going to see sunshine that will return. And ultimately, we'll have a really nice Sunday with temperatures into the lower 80s. Gorgeous weather here for the end of the weekend and hot this week. Ahead on Sunday today, our highs and lows of the week, including that guy at the wedding who appears to have availed himself of the open bar, starting a fire and just dancing right through the flames. But up next, chasing the storm.
from our Sunday spotlight on the growing number of women rushing into danger for a glimpse of the big twister. We're back in just 30 seconds. <laughs> see you tomorrow. We love you. We'll see you here on the Family Field. Show until next time. This is Peter Tumarkin on behalf of the Focati Rug saying thanks for pressing your luck. Bye bye. Anyway, we have just 10 seconds to say goodbye. We'll see you uh, tomorrow. So long. Bye bye. Yeah. We got we five seconds. Oh no, we have three, two, one. Bye. bye.